in 2018, it was reported that the transport sector in the Philippines made up 35.7% of the country's total energy consumption, delivered primarily through gasoline and diesel combustion engines. This resulted in the transport sector contributing 27.9% of our country's greenhouse gas emissions. The Alternative Fuels and Technologies Program of the Department of Energy aims to lower the transport sector's greenhouse gas emissions, as well as to curb the sector's dependence on imported conventional fuels. One of the initiatives in Alternative Fuels and Technologies Roadmap involves the development of solar-powered motorized boats. In 2019, the DOE partnered with DOST Pichard for the prototyping of solar-assisted plug-in electric motor-powered boats. The project is implemented by Mapua University and entitled Safe, Efficient, and Sustainable Solar Assisted Plug-in Electric Boat or SESI e-boat. The Maritime Industry Authority or Marina is on board through its partnership with DOST Pichert. The project involves the prototyping of two units of plug-in electric motor boats with solar panels, each unit using a particular kind of battery. These motor boats shall be charged primarily through a 220 volt AC plug. It will also be fitted with roof mounted solar panels, a renewable energy source. The electric boats will be able to transport up to 12 passengers. The hull of the electric boat shall be made of fiberglass reinforced plastic. This allows for better structural integrity ensuring safety and longevity. In compliance with marina regulations, the electric boat will be equipped with a pilot console, navigational lights, searchlights, VHF marine radio, and other standard safety equipment. Moreover, the electric boat will also feature our locally developed automatic identification system, or AIS, for tracking and monitoring the location of the boat. There are three modes of operations. First, when the boat is docked at port and the electric motor is turned off, energy can be sourced from both plug-in AC power and the built-in solar panels. Second, when the boat is moving across water, the motor runs off the energy stored in the battery and the energy generated by the solar panels. Lastly, when the boat is not moving and is not connected to an AC power source, the energy generated by the solar panel is able to charge onboard batteries. Let me share the design of Monohull electric boat. In the very near future, our own Filipino-designed, Filipino-made electric boats will transport passengers and tourists across our beautiful island communities. Let us continue improving the lives of Filipinos. Totoo nga po, maliwanag ang ating kinabukasan.